hi everyone so i kind of just wanted to um make a short extremely short little video um just to address my inconsistency so yeah i've just been trying to work on being more consistent in my social media posting and like youtube posting especially because i really have a lot of footage um i just haven't had time to really post it um with law school um and i'm in the process of figuring out how i'm going to turn what i do on social media into my career for law um so i've been trying to be more consistent especially because i want to promote my makeup um, because I do do freelance makeup on the side and I find, of course, it's harder to get clients when you don't have pictures of any work or, you know, things like that. So I um, have been trying to be more consistent um, over this quarantine time and use this time um, as a benefit. But unfortunately with everything that's going on i have slacked up and i've been posting constantly on my instagram stories um if you want my opinion on anything follow me on twitter because i'm very vocal on twitter um of course all of my stuff will be linked down below um but yeah, so with everything that's been going on, I feel like it is, I don't know, not selfish, but kind of like rude and disrespectful, even though I know I'm trying to make it into a career um, and it's about business. This is so much bigger than that. Um, Y'all can see the color of my skin. Um, So, of course, Black Lives Matter and... This is an issue that we've been fighting. You can count like way many more years than anything. So, you know, just trying to like keep myself composed and calm, especially like y'all know I'm trying to go into law and we actually have a meeting about what our role in the protesting is um and stuff like that so i'm looking forward to that conversation i've not been blending forever it really don't even be taking me that long to blend i just wanted to say you know like because i'm finding everything that's going on to be so much more important than what i do i have not been posting i have only been sharing um information and um yeah sharing information and um bringing awareness to what's been going on via my stories um twitter and facebook um so if you follow me on any of that that's where i mostly have been um i haven't been on posting on instagram um i've only been posting on my stories well reposting on my stories other people's um information informational videos about what's going on um places that you can donate to and give back to you know <clears throat> so yeah just doing that sort of thing because i feel like it's very important to create awareness and i just don't feel like me doing makeup videos really creates aware awareness um but you know to each his own um so i just wanted to say like from this point on i am going to be posting because i know how hard it is for me to stay consistent and if i don't stay consistent like I'm not going to be posting and then I'm going to let it go back down the drain so with everything I post from this point on until you know 
if and when, you know, this is no longer, you know, a fight for us. Um, so, like, up until that is a point, I will be posting on the um, end of all of my videos and all of my pictures on Instagram, where you can donate, how you can support, and things like that. Um, because I just, I think it's so important to be supporting right now, especially because I'm not on the front lines. Um, you know, I stay in Baton Rouge and there has been some protests, um, some peaceful protests. Um, I don't really know if there's been any rioting, but there has been more police brutality which I don't understand why in the time that we are in currently, how we're seeing what it's doing, people are still finding a way to go against that. Um, because there was videos released of um, police with a rifle aimed at the back of a black woman um, in Baton Rouge not too many days ago. So, hopefully they do start protesting. I'm still not going to go out there on the front lines. Not because I don't want to support, but because, in all honesty, I'm still scared of corona. I'm not trying to be around all the sickness, all of the stuff. I'm still quarantined. Um, I don't leave the house. Um, you know, so... That's just kind of how I feel about that. But I do feel like if you feel like you need to stay at home like I do, um, then that it's important that you support in as many ways as you possibly can. And I think I can use my platform, although it's not a huge um, platform, you know, to spread awareness. And so I think that because that is something that is important to me, I'm going to find a way to be productive and also support the cause. Uh, one of my tweets kind of went a little viral, not like seriously viral, but like viral for me because I'm not like super popular on Twitter. But basically I was saying, you know, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X both were celebrated. You know, they're both... They both fought for our rights, you know. Don't let the way that people are protesting um, distract you from the message. Like, because at the end of the day, like, it doesn't matter if people are rioting or protesting or looting. Like, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. What matters is why they're doing it. Like, and I just think that's so important. And I have definitely been promoting all of the people who have been saying things like that because it's way deeper than someone who, <clears throat> you know, worked hard to get a business, you know, compared to I never, ever had the opportunity. And even if I did have the opportunity, I'm still not treated equally like like the point is like it doesn't matter who you are like we know a lot of celebrities who have been profiled rappers especially like we know everyone is affected like it's the little people the big people everyone like it goes so much deeper and I just hope that from this point forward like I just hope from this point forward, people truly understand, but I know history repeats itself and this is not the first time. I really hope it is the last, but it is not. It's not the first time that we have been in this position. It's not the first time we as black people have had to riot and protest and loot to get our point across and in each and every time <clears throat> each and every time we have gotten more and more and 
I hope that this time it's not only that we get more and more, but but that it people actually realize, you know. That was concealer, I, but I'm trying to give the lip more of the like pink look. But yeah, I just really hope that our fight can end. Like, I am so, like, it's so exhausting. Like, it's so exhausting. And that's coming from someone who has celebrated their heritage their entire lives. Like, it's so exhausting to have to tell you over and over and over and over again like why I should not be killed, why my life matters, why police should be following the law that has been put in place. Like hopefully our fight can come to an end. You know? That's just I think that's what we all want. That's all what we're all wishing for. You know, so with that being said, you know, I'm pretty much done. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to style my hair because this was actually based on um, a look that someone sent me. I haven't even done any mascara, so I'm going to do mascara. Um, other than that, this is, you know, this is, the look. this is the ugly side. So I'm mad that my bangs be going on this side because it's the ugly side. Okay, y'all, like I'm over these braids. So like since day one, and y'all, like I do my own braids, so you have any suggestions you know or any videos to watch you know whatever let me know this is really the first time this ever happened to me since i started doing my braids like a couple years ago so like they've been like sticking out like that like they don't want to like lay down and i think it's probably because the this hair isn't heavy enough to hold down my natural hair because my natural hair is actually the black part that's braided into these it's not an ombre it's my hair um yeah so whole time i might make them some pigtails or something like uh, if it could just lay flat like this like it would be so much nicer i guess black lives matter may all of the lives who were lost so soon rest in peace and like I said, check the links below because I will be putting where you can donate, who you can support, and Black-owned businesses in the rest of my posts until forever at this point. Because y'all don't seem to get it. So, tell y'all get it. That's what's going to be happening. Thank y'all. Bye.